So I'm installing this, this hood fan, it, it works. I've, I've done most of the work already. Um, so first you wanna prep the area, like I've been explaining in other videos, and then you wanna um, use cap connectors rather than soldering then with this duct um, you might want to use a bicycle inner tube um, it's just mainly there to to not vibrate as much and then um basically I'm trying to right now I'm installing um I got all wired up so it's ready to bolt in and uh, basically I'm gonna make some spacers underneath here um, once I get the original mounted um, it's also good to have uh, you know any extra kit if, if you're not as organized like me um, you can have like an, a, a light this headlight kind of the batteries kind of don't work um, so I've got all this stuff laying around these coffee cans are, are were good for me um, to help raise this um, you could build like a wood frame and then and then raise it up and keep it leveled up so having a good light is probably the best thing um, to have because uh, you can see exactly where it's going so I'm going to um, basically try to install the last four bolts into this cabinet and then um, that will be all for today once they're in pretty good and then um, I've got a choice of using the ones they gave me or some other ones um, Basically, I could, uh, I'm probably going to use the ones they gave me because they're a little longer. And, um, I'm going to use it with the washer. Um, and then if I, um, if something were to happen, then, then I'll have to uninstall it. Or, I mean, if something were to happen with the mounting, then I would have to un uninstall it and use longer drills screws I mean so basically um I'm just uh kind of tired because this this it, you know so I'm gonna just try to mount this up with the cans and things so basically uh I'm gonna have to patch up but I added the screw to help hold it in place um, after I saw there's no gap, I'm just going to um, add some screws Oops. and um, and get it to mount um, where I need it. And then, I, and then I'm going to get the supplies and then, um, uh, and then I'm going to get the paint, some more paint and maybe some caulk and I'm going to touch up everything and I'm gonna make the spacers too but um that's a good tip right there if um you don't have that much um if you're you know kind of out of options and want to repair it fast you just put some screws into the cabinet and I'll um, fix them later plus they're all cabinets and all but I wanted to do this side and probably two more towards the back um i'm gonna show you um what it looks like on top what type of clearance there's still some clearance but that's that's just gonna um have to be like sunken into with the um, mounting screws but yeah, oops. So there's some clearance left, but there's not a whole lot. Um, so I'm gonna try to put another screw and see how that goes. So 
So I got both sides. I'm going to put four, two on each side. And my phone's kind of low on battery. And um, once I, um, you know, and I didn't want to chip the, um, chip the, the, uh, the paint. So I um, wrapped some duct tape around the um, screw while I'm drilling. So I'm gonna put the other screw back in there. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so that's screw number three. Um, I don't know if I could feel the newspaper underneath there. So all this is just so I can remove all this stuff underneath it and then have better access um, to the uh, mounting holes. And um, hopefully, um, so I'm gonna show you some more of that good work I do. Um, so this is pretty much almost gonna happen. Um, I'm, so, so after I get these in, I can remove all this and then um, put in the four on top and then I'm gonna keep those in overnight until I make um, a spacer a spacer um, to nail against the cabinet so um, that this hood's gonna be really sturdy and with these in I could adjust the alignment and stuff so hold on I'm gonna try to do one more so here's proof that it worked. Got all this stuff out. I could look up in here and um it still looks offset. Um it's not gonna really be, be an easy mount, but at least uh I'm going to um I've got the shims in there just just in case it's it's one of those. And I gotta use long bolts. Um, ideally, um, this way was perfect. You know, um, I had all this, these tools and things in in the thought process, but uh, they were all just, just aren't there, aren't really. Um, you know, the only good thing was using those wire caps, um, tinting the the wires, and then using those wire caps was pretty good. So I used a little bit of everything, you know, with the stuff that, you know, with the extra stuff. These aren't even my real even tools, or these aren't really my my professional tools. They're just stuff that that uh, I could, I, you know, I had access to. Um, Here's a soldering tray, you know, for tight jobs. You know, I've um, had this not work, not work um, on a without batteries. This, this drill is okay. Um, I even have uh, some ratchets with the. Uh, just in case I need to, I've got different bolts, different screws, just in case I need to, you know, get longer reach. Um, but um, from what it looks like, I've got to continue with these longer screws. I've got a lot of them, so and with washers so I need four of them and with washers and it'll, it'll, it'll hopefully catch good um you know I'm, and um you know you gotta have marker or you know just the stuff I have over here these are all just um I like doing jobs because I can figure out which tools are gonna get me through them and um, also just to organize my stuff um, 
So I'm trying to mount those four holes and um, take another day to uh, make better uh, uh, rails and take out the screws and patch them up and um, basically paint it. I, I, um, hopefully there's deals on paint because I like to paint and um, yeah, let's try to finish this, you know, up to this point and put the panel back on. So all all hood fans aren't all the same. Um, these, this one just had a panel and the fans and some screens for the fan. And here's a screen for the fan. Um... So hopefully I, I uh, finish up to that point. I'll be back. All right, so I got one screw in. Oh no. And then I've got two screws in. The screws in the, the two screws in the back, I'm gonna probably finish one. But um, I had to use the longer screws with the washer and then a ratchet and um extension and um uh, a light kind of helped um also with this surface um i got a piece of wood <clears throat> the stove glass stove surface uh, i got a piece of wood and i dropped one of these um duct taped his screws the, um, the heavy duty um, mounter um, behind the stove so I gotta pull the stove forward and or maybe use a magnet wand I think I saw one um but yeah um kind of almost done need to uh this back one on this side is kind of tough but I'm gonna get it and these screws I'm gonna check um where they hit but um I don't know I guess it went through right there so these are just temporary and then or maybe permanent just depends on um, I just kind of stuck them in, you know, wherever I could, and I guess, you know, that's, I gotta bend those. I guess I gotta bend it or put a washer, I mean, a nut or something on it, so it doesn't come undone. But that's why I'm gonna make the side braces, you know, after um, I get the four original mounting screws in, I'm gonna, um, make the side brace it'll be good for back one but um yeah uh it's good to have this cooking fan because you know you could cook and i've got to you know you, you know and um so the kitchen doesn't get super smoky and you know um i've i've even had to like you know when when you're steaming stuff it just steam gets everywhere and um yeah that's just the main main um the main tip of installing these is to just um put in some um screws into the cabinet and um make make a better brace for under here you know once once the other ones are installed, you can take these out. Well, thanks for watching. Um, it's better than what I started with today, you know, having to do the whole thing, having to wire and think about soldering things. But the solder didn't work, but using the wire caps did. And um, thanks. Have a good one. Bye.